This breed of goose is known as the African or the African brown goose and it's easy to see the, where the brown comes from. There's a brown strip that goes on the back of the head and extends all the way down to the neck, to the backside. So African breed geese are descended from the wild swan goose, just like their close cousin, the Chinese goose, or the white Chinese goose. I have a video of that from Ross Lake, uh, Fallbrook, California, dated from the beginning of my channel, if you've followed it since the beginning, which is, um, Around March 2012 is when I began first making a lot of videos in earnest. So they share some similar characteristics, but the two can be distinguished by the African's uh, larger dewlap. And here you don't really see that much of a dewlap. You kind of see it here, but you know it's not very well developed, meaning this is a very young individual. And over time it becomes saggier and saggier, and you know their eyes kind of look more wrinkled and less open I guess so they look sort of old towards the end but this one is a pretty healthy young individual and it's grooming right now it has very flexible neck which allows it to do all sorts of amazing contortions like this it's pretty fun to watch and they can scratch themselves and you know groom their feathers at almost any angle and they have these robust orange webbed feet so the origin of the African moniker is unclear. There's a theory that these are closely related to the white Chinese goose, so it's uh, purely the result of selective breeding between the white Chinese goose and the wild swan goose, but they have different traits. Um, this one has a different shaped knob, which is that large um, you know, sort of roundish horn looking structure that's attached to its upper beak. And in this case, it's all black as opposed to the orange on the female over there. The, the female doesn't have a knob, obviously, only the males have that. But in white Chinese geese, everything is orange. And white Chinese geese have orange feet, too. And I don't think their you know, legs are as thick. The African breed was recognized in the middle of the 1800s and was admitted to the American Poultry Association Standard of Perfection in 1874. African geese appear in three color varieties, brown, buff, and white. These uh, appear to be brown to me. They have black bills and knobs, have plumage with irregular shades from light to dark brown. And the white variety apparently has all white plumage and orange bills and knobs and it would be much harder to tell those apart from white Chinese geese except by the morphology of their knobs and their dewlaps. In this footage you can see them vocalize and I call that sort of a honk. You know, it's uh, the kind of noise that a lot of geese make. And they basically keep doing this when you're near them. I think they're asking for food. So the males, the ganders of this breed, can reach up to 10 kilograms in mass. So it's a pretty large bird. And the females, they are simply referred to as the geese, can weigh up to 8 kilograms max. And you can see some ducklings swimming in the background. But the geese tend to rule the roost, so to speak. So if there's geese and ducks present, geese always dominate and chase away the ducks. They always occupy the most prime positions closest to humans, and they're much older than ducks in general. Although ducks can be quite friendly too if they're sufficiently domesticated and used to being fed. I've hand fed ducks before, but you know, I've been able to pet geese and ducks on the neck and back. And, and this is footage that was taken later in the day, you know, after I finished hiking in this Buena Vista Park Trail in Vista, California. And this male goose was opening its eyes every few seconds to check me out. I was only a few feet away to see if perhaps I had some more food items for it. But it was cloudy and it had gotten plenty to eat during the day. So it was falling asleep pretty quickly. And it couldn't really keep its eyes open anymore or its uh, neck stiff anymore. So this is how geese sleep. They kind of doze off like this and they close their eyelids from the bottom to the top unlike us. We kind of have our eyelids meet halfway. So it was interesting to watch and 
you know, every few seconds it wanted to make a half-hearted honk at me and open its eyes a little to keep tabs on me, but here it's just falling asleep completely. And this was another individual that had just finished swimming. This is the female. Um, she was very tired too. It's interesting because she has, you know, almost like this orange eyeliner, so to speak. And this is a perfect demonstration of how geese close their eyes from the bottom. And this is the noisy male sleeping. He's almost completely asleep, but still moves his eyelids around a little bit. African geese can produce an average of 20 to 40 eggs per season per goose. And the ganders can grow up to you know, 7 or 8 kilos already in 15 to 18 weeks and produce a lot of lean meat. This breed needs some protection from the cold during the winter as the males have knobs that will get frostbitten if it gets too cold and the frostbitten parts will turn orange but they'll recover later on.